I enjoyed watching Bridgerton, especially since I knew that there actually was a Queen Charlotte and King George III in history, even if I knew the show was not very factual. Queen Charlotte has been getting very famous, so I wanted to know who she really was as a person and as a historical leader. I did the research, and today I'm going to tell you about Charlotte's life and how she impacted those around her. Queen Charlotte was born Charlotte Sophia of mecklenburg strelitz on May 19, 1744. She was a minor princess from Germany, and she had very little education, which included languages, natural history, religion, and household management. This helped her get picked by King George because he thought she wouldn't meddle while he ruled, which ended up being true. Most ruling decisions were made by George. Queen Charlotte and King George III were married within six hours of meeting each other, and when they first met, she was pretty sick from her voyage to England. She was just 17 and he was 22. On September 8, 1761, they were married because of the pressure on George to be married and produce an heir for his kingdom. They had a joint coronation at Westminster Abbey on September 22, 1761. Charlotte had her first son within their first year of being married, George IV. They ended up having 15 children, with 13 surviving until adulthood. George and Charlotte were good friends and showed kindness to each other through their letters. They both loved their children very much and were involved in raising them and their education. They were a very close family. George and Charlotte even played duets together. She played the harpsichord, and George played the flute. Even though Charlotte had very little education, when she was first married, she always continued learning. She learned English quickly after arriving in England and loved studying science, including botany. She was quite the philanthropist. She founded many orphanages and supported many hospitals. She also was a strong enthusiast for women's education and made sure her daughters were well-educated. Charlotte also loved the arts, especially music. She was a friend of Johann Christian Bach and had Mozart come and play at her palace when he was just eight years old. She loved animals, including dogs such as Pomeranians and wild animals. Her collection included a zebra and an elephant. She even sent her friends kangaroos. The world was changed in 1773 when an act was passed taxing tea in the colonies under King George III's rule. The colonists had felt mistreated by the British government for years, and finally, on April 19, 1775, the American Revolution began and lasted until December 15, 1791. It was under King George III's rule that America became its own country. Queen Charlotte and King George III also had an impact on the French Revolution as they supported French royalty. Queen Charlotte and Marie Antoinette were pen pals usually writing about their love of art and music. Marie Antoinette even told Queen Charlotte she was worried about her family's future and Charlotte got a room ready for them in case they decided to flee. It was very sad for Charlotte when she learned that Marie Antoinette had been killed on October 16, 1793. George first became sick in 1788 in both mind and body. There are many different ideas of what his illness could be, but currently most professionals believe he had bipolar disorder. His treatments by his doctor, Francis Willis, were rough and included leeching and cold baths. George's illness caused the family a lot of stress and by 1789, Charlotte's hair had turned white because of the stress she was under. George ended up recovering for a while, but then his sickness came back and in 1811, their son, George IV, stepped in as king officially. However, Charlotte still presided over the court instead of her son's wife, Carolyn of Brunswick. Charlotte was Britain's longest reigning queen consort. Queen Charlotte's impact on the world is far-reaching. She was the grandmother of Queen Victoria, who is the grandmother of most of the ruling leaders of World War I. This includes King George V of Great Britain, Tsar Nicholas II of Russia, and Emperor Wilhelm II of the German Empire. She is also the great, 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 great grandmother of Queen Elizabeth. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one.